So, mandatory remediation, it's a hot topic at the moment, but what are the pros and cons of mandatory remediation? That's what we're going to look at in this video, and in particular, how it impacts on the three C's of mediation, cost, control, and cycle time. So there are three things that I think are important to think about in terms of mandatory mediation, whether mediation should be mandated from an early stage. One is the issue of self-determination. Two is the issue about engagement and motivation of the parties. And the third thing is about the cultural shift that it creates. So if we look at self-determination first, this is the idea that the parties themselves should make their own decision in a mediation and in fact make their own decision as to when they mediate. And there are three elements here that are important. There's the cost, the control and the cycle time. Those three things are important for parties. How much is it going to cost? Uh, how much control are they going to have? And at what point in the cycle of their dispute do they make this decision to mediate? The second point is about being engaged and motivated. Maybe if you mandate mediation, our parties are not going to be quite as engaged and motivated to be in the process. So this is an important thing to think about. What is their experience of mediation and of the mediation process? And how do we enable parties to have what I call voice and participation? So these are important elements to think about when we're thinking about mandating mediation. The final thing is the cultural shift. As it stands at the moment, people make their own choice as to whether they mediate and when. If it's mandated, that makes a shift in what we do and understanding what that means is going to be important. The question really is, how do we encourage people to be more aware of mediation and make that choice for themselves early on?